In this video, we'll set up a local automation server running an 8N inside a Proxmox LXC container right on your own hardware. While we won't go into every technical detail of the installation, which you can already find in many other YouTube tutorials, we'll focus on what really matters, building a simple and practical automation default text. Using Telegram and Google Sheets, we'll create a system that lets you log your daily expenses with just a voice message. Thanks to OpenAI's language processing, the workflow will extract keywords like the category and amount, then automatically store the data in your personal Google Sheet. No cloud subscriptions, no N8N+, and no monthly fees, everything runs locally and securely using only free tools. If you're a home automation fan, privacy conscious user, or just want to get more done with less, this video is for you. Let's dive in and build something useful, smart, and entirely yours. The easiest way to begin is by using the official N8N Cloud service. It requires no installation or setup, just sign up and you're ready to start building automations. One big advantage, it works out of the box with services like Telegram since the cloud instance already has a public HTTPS address. That means no need for extra tools like Ingrok or port forwarding. However, it's important to note that N8N Cloud is a paid service. While there is a free plan, it comes with limits and full access requires a subscription. In the next part of this video, we'll show you how to install N8N locally, completely free, on your own Proxmox server. And we'll demonstrate how to make it accessible to Telegram and Google Sheets using Ingrok so you can enjoy smart automation without paying for premium plans. In the page linked in the video description, you'll find a ready-to-use guide for installing the N8N server as a container on your local Proxmox server. It's a straightforward setup that gives you full control without relying on cloud services. My server is already installed and running. As you can see, it requires very few resources to operate smoothly, making it a perfect fit even for low-power local machines. At this point, I'd like to recommend the Intel N100 processor. It handles multiple integrations exceptionally well. Right now, I'm running a fully featured Home Assistant setup, N8N, Zabbix, and Pi Hole, all on the same machine. And despite the workload, I haven't experienced any memory issues or performance lags during everyday use. What's even more impressive is that the N100 offers performance comparable to a 7th generation Intel i5 processor while consuming up to 10 times less power. It's an ideal choice for a quiet, efficient, and low-maintenance home server. In the next step, we will register for a free account at ngrok.com. Why do we need it? Since our N8N server is running locally on a Proxmox container, it doesn't have a public IP address. That means external services like Telegram can't reach it directly. Ingrok solves this problem by creating a secure tunnel from the public internet to our local machine. This allows Telegram to send webhook messages to our local N8N instance just like it would to a cloud server. It's a simple and free solution to bridge the gap between the local and the global internet, perfect for our private automation setup. After logging into your Ingrok account, go to the Setup and Installation tab. Select Linux as your operating system. In the window below, you'll find a ready-to-use command. Copy and paste it directly into the terminal of your N8N server container. This command will install Ingrok and authorize it with your account, so you can start creating secure tunnels right away. Once Ingrok is installed, we need to add our auth token to the configuration. Simply copy the next command from the Ingrok web interface and paste it into your N8N server console. This step links your Ingrok installation to your account, allowing you to create secure tunnels with your personal configuration. Now let's set up a free domain using Ingrok. 
When you start a tunnel with the free version of Ingrok, it automatically generates a random subdomain each time. This works perfectly for testing and quick setups. On the right side of the screen, Ingrok generates a command for us. Simply copy this command and paste it into your N8N server console. Before you run it, make sure to change the default port from 80 to 5678, which is the port where our N8N instance is running. This step will create a secure tunnel from the internet directly to our local automation server. To make sure that Telegram and other external services can reach our local N8N server, we need to set the correct public web hook URL. We'll do that by editing the N8N service configuration, open the service file using this command. Now let's restart Ngrok to re-establish the secure tunnel. Once Ngrok is running, we can go back to our N8N web interface using the newly generated URL. Just copy the address from the terminal and open it in your browser. You're now ready to start building powerful automations securely connected to the internet, all from your local machine. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, we're going to build a simple automation that records our daily shopping expenses into a Google Sheet, using Telegram as the input channel, both through text messages and voice recordings. Before we start building our automation, it's important to set up credentials for each of the tools we'll be using, OpenAI, Telegram, and Google Sheets. These credentials act like secure keys that allow an 8N to connect and communicate with each service. Without them, we wouldn't be able to receive messages from Telegram, send prompts to OpenAI, or write data to a Google Sheet. Each service has its own way of generating these credentials. Some use API tokens, others use Oath. We start by creating a new workflow in N8N. This is where our automation will begin. Next, search for the Telegram node and select Trigger on Message from the list. This will let our workflow react to new messages sent to our bot. Now we select the Telegram credential in the node settings. This allows an 8N to securely connect to your Telegram bot so it can receive messages and trigger workflows based on what you send. If you've already created and saved the credential, just pick it from the list. If not, click Create New and enter the bot token you received from Botfather. To connect Telegram with an 8N, start by talking to it Botfather in the Telegram app. Create a new bot using the command slash new bot, then copy the API token Botfather gives you. Next, go to credentials in your N8N interface, click new credential, select Telegram bot API, and paste your token. Save it and you're ready to use Telegram in your workflows. The next element in our automation is the switch node. It will help us separate text messages from voice messages so we can handle them differently in the workflow. On the left side, we turn on listening for input, then go to our Telegram bot and send any word to test the connection. From the input data, we select the text we typed and drag it as the first variable in the routing rules, then change the condition to string exists. To run the AI agent, we need a language model. In my case, I'm using OpenAI. To get your OpenAI API token, go to platform.openme.com and log in or create an account. Then, navigate to the API keys section in your dashboard. Click Create New Secret Key, copy the generated token, and keep it safe. You'll need it to connect OpenAI with N8N. Copy your organization ID and the generated API key from the OpenAI dashboard, then paste both into the new OpenAI credentials you create in N8N. Make sure to save the credentials before using them in your workflow. Next, we're adding the AI agent to our workflow. To test it quickly, I'll send a question directly to our Telegram bot and activate the workflow. 
When everything is set up correctly, you'll see green arrows on the workflow, indicating that data is flowing smoothly between the nodes. This visual feedback helps confirm that the integration is working as expected. Thanks to this, we can see the input data in the AI agent and define exactly which parts of the data we want to send to the language model. This lets us control what information the AI uses to generate responses. Our AI agent won't work unless we connect it to a language model. In this project, that's the OpenAI model we set up earlier. To retry triggering the agent, simply press the play button above the workflow block. The next block will be a telegram node that sends our agent's response back to our bot chat. In this block, we need to define the chat ID because it tells Telegram exactly which chat to send the message to. Without it, the bot wouldn't know where to deliver the response. We also set the message content here, which will be the reply generated by our AI agent based on the user's input. This way, every time someone sends a message to the bot, they get a relevant response back automatically. Along with our response, the message also includes a default note saying it was sent from the N8N server. To remove this, we go to the message attributes section and disable the option that adds the default footer. This keeps our replies clean and professional. Now let's connect our AI agent to a new tool, Google Sheets. First, create a spreadsheet in your Google Drive and name it Shopping. In this file, Add for Columns, you can customize them based on your needs. In my case, I used Date, Shop Name, Item, Cost. This will be the destination for the data processed by our automation, a simple and organized way to log your daily expenses. To allow an 8N to work with Google Sheets, we need to create Google credentials. We go to the Google Cloud Console and select APIs and Services. Here we'll enable the necessary APIs and later generate credentials so an 8N can access our Google Sheets. In the API library, search for Google Sheets API and click to enable it. In the overview window, we create a new Oath client. Now choose Web Application as the application type. In the authorized redirect URIs field, paste your ingroc address followed by REST Oath2 Credential e callback. This will allow an 8N to complete the Oath process securely. After this step, Google will generate your client ID and client secret. Copy both values and paste them into your new Google Sheets credential inside N8N. This will authorize your server to access and update your spreadsheet automatically. Now, let's add the Google Sheets tool to our AI agent. This will allow the agent to write the extracted data directly into our spreadsheet. In the Operations field, we change the default option to Append Row. This ensures that each new entry will be added as a new row in our Google Sheet. Next, we paste the URL of our Google Sheet, copied directly from the browser address bar. If everything is set up correctly, the next field lets us select the sheet from our Google file and all defined columns will appear automatically. We mark all variables as dynamic, so our AI model will define their values automatically. To improve the OpenAI language model's accuracy, we will add a prompt that helps it better interpret the text entered into the Telegram bot. Now let's move to the first test of our automation. Start the workflow, then go to the Telegram bot and enter a new purchase. We can see in real time how our bot works and which module is processing the data at each moment. 
As you can see, the automation completed successfully, and our Google Sheet was updated with a new purchase row containing the future date. To make logging purchases even easier, we'll now add a feature that allows our bot to interpret voice messages sent through Telegram. I've just sent a new message to my Telegram bot with another purchase, and now I'm triggering the workflow. Now we're adding another Telegram node with the send on audio file option, which will handle incoming voice messages. Next, we need an AI module to convert the audio file into text. For this, we'll use OpenAI's transcription tool, which allows us to transcribe voice messages into written text. We can see that the transcription was successful. Now, we just need to make a small change in the AI agent. Now I'm running the workflow again and sending the previously recorded voice message through the Telegram chat. The AI agent interprets the message correctly and completes the operation successfully by adding a new row to our shopping spreadsheet. And that's it for today. We've created a simple example of how to automate your daily shopping notes using Telegram, voice or text and store them directly in Google Sheets, all powered by an 8N and OpenAI. What's important is that everything runs locally. Your N8N server stays in your home network, keeping your data private. This automation is just a starting point. There's so much more you can build. If you found this video helpful, check out the rest of our tutorials, give us a like, and subscribe to the channel for more no-code and automation content. See you next time.